Hi, I'm Brent Shelby, Exhibit Design Manager of the Oregon Zoo, here on the construction site of Red Ape Reserve. We just completed a successful exhibit with Predators of the Serengeti, and now we're focusing our efforts on completing Red Ape Reserve, a new exhibit for orangutans and white cheek gibbons. We've already completed some major milestones, and I'd like to share those with you now. The first milestone is the opening of the log tunnel, which will serve as the entrance to Red Ape Reserve. The tunnel passes directly through the outdoor exhibit shared by the orangutans and gibbons. It was a creative solution to a practical problem of getting visitors into the primates building while still giving the animals as much space as possible. As people pass through the tunnel, meant to look like a tree fallen in the forest, they'll notice that there are nine porthole windows at the sides and on the roof. Through these windows, visitors will be able to watch the gibbons and orangutans as they literally climb and swing overhead. The second milestone is the opening of the new indoor gibbon exhibit. Although the orangutans and the white cheek gibbons share the same outdoor enclosure, they have separate indoor exhibits. The gibbon exhibit is a renovation of a space that was built originally in 1959 and last remodeled in the 1980s. We've added murals to the walls, trees, vines, rocks, as well as natural plants, so that the exhibit now better depicts the natural habitat of white cheek gibbons. I'm now standing at one of the large viewing windows that looks into the outdoor exhibit shared by orangutans and gibbons. And in the distance is the landmark feature of Red Ape Reserve, the enrichment tree, which we've spoken about in the past. We've now completed the structural elements of the tree and it's just waiting its final decorative coat. The enrichment tree will allow keepers to feed the animals safely inside the tree and provide enrichment in the form of treats and other activities so they can demonstrate natural foraging behavior as they would in the wild. Visitors coming to the zoo now will see how much progress we've made and also be able to watch as we continue to add to the structure that's in place, put logs and sway poles and other climbing features in the outdoor exhibit for the animals. And when you pass through the new log tunnel, you may not be able to watch orangutans and gibbons climbing and swinging overhead right now, but through the porthole windows you'll be able to watch progress as it's being made. We look forward to completing the exhibit, watching the orangutans and gibbons enjoying their new enclosure, and opening it to the public in the months ahead.